Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sessa, there's a video here today. There's a brand new video, a brand new episode of redesigning your PSD. So I basically take some really cool projects that my fans have made and I just wanna redesign them, either if I wanna make them better or make them my own. That's kinda like my thing about this series. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. I did no banners in this episode. I feel like you guys will say, like, I heard the comments, you're like, I wanna do less banners, do more like different things. I, so I did two posters today, so I hope you guys will enjoy them. One's a Spider-Man one. Uh, and the first one for this is gonna be like a Razor Crack and advertise a thing which is came out pretty sick so hope you guys do enjoy it but yeah if you guys like the series be sure to leave a like on the series or leave a like on the video for me to know that you guys do like the series but i love you guys enjoy the video and um yeah that's all i got this is, i'll see you guys later enjoy all right guys so let's get this thing it started right here right now with the first project which is designed by nest visuals it's a kraken x headset razor poster advertisement thing so honestly it's actually pretty cool i looked at this and i was like this is honestly Pretty freaking solid, pretty cool idea about it. Um, like few little things and tweaks. I think the idea I'm gonna go about mine is I'm definitely gonna do like this simple like uh snake going around it. I got some assets here, of course, already. Um, I do think like the Razer X headset is a nice call. Maybe I wanna like even I have some inspiration here too, like Razer kind of like layouts and things like that, how they do like Ouroboros, things like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to like learn and understand Razer's branding, but also at least use the unique idea that is that is this right here. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so let's just get this thing started right let's just let's just start so i'm just gonna like start up inside a nice 1500 by 1500 um document size so of course i want to drag in my headset first let's do that now i'm gonna go with a pretty good size like something around like right around here maybe is a good size i think right now of course i want to add in my snake to already have it cut out for myself we're gonna try to like customize a little bit to make it a little more like razory and uh yeah that's what, that's what i'm going on here However, for the most part, what I actually didn't even doing, what I didn't end up doing yet, I need the Razor logo actually. All right, I got my logos in here for a second. So I really wanted to quickly throw in the logos because I honestly, I honestly wanted to do like the, um, like Razor or Boris. They had the logo in the bottom. It looks super clean, super nice. I at least want to keep that idea in there, I think, for the most part. I'll just use like a nice, not black, but I'll use like a nice book for like a little subtext thing. Just, you know, it's like a headset, right? And then kind of like put it offset like that. Um, I also kind of was like figuring out what I want to do for the background. So realistically, like I see a few things here. I have like this right here, right? This like thing right here. I have like this really cool background here. Very, very subtle, very like just cool looking. I wanted to basically figure out my own light source and just kind of put it in there. So like this is also really cool as well. For the background, I'm low key thinking, like we just go around with this color and then this color first and fill this in and then use the darker tone to kind of like play around with the background to make it look kind of fun and dope. Now it's either I do that or I even use like a nice gradient. Like this can be really dope. Now I'm in a pretty good spot. Like this is already super, super clean, but I have yet to do literally anything, but I want to keep this like this clean route going. So let me do this right. So I'm going to lower the opacity down for this and I'm going to go ahead and say, right i think all right here this needs to be oh before i do that let's click on that right let's go ahead and say all of this should be behind the, he uh, the headset right because we obviously want to make it look like it's entangled and stuff like that so right here behind the headset to start us off with then like behind over here is perfect this right here could be behind it as well i think that's actually a pretty nice little look right there like it's not in the way it's not too much right it's just it's like perfectly like going around it in a way i almost feel like is this not enough Maybe I actually go ahead and say to myself, maybe this actually stays in here, like that right there. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. So let me quickly also go about this and put a nice little gradient on this guy. So I wanna make him like pretty like dark. I feel like right now, if I look at him, right, he's a little bit too blue. I wanna basically make that like not blue. Um, and I'm actually, oh, why would I do that? I can just go over here, go to uh, camera off filter, just lower the hue saturation of blue and we're good to go. But just like that, look how cool that looks. Honestly, the headset too, even though it might be a little bit like blue on the headset, um, and realistically, you shouldn't really changing, you shouldn't be really changing the product look when you're like doing color correction stuff like that. You should make it as unique or as perfectly like resemble the product itself. But I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm gonna probably gonna go ahead and just lower the black just a little bit. Why not? And lower the put a little bit of texture on it, a little bit of clarity, make it look a little bit more kind of like just just like look look like that. Okay, like I, I feel like that's an okay thing to do, even though it shouldn't be an okay thing to do. For me, it's okay because I know I shouldn't do it, and that's good enough, right? I think. However, I want to make sure that I go back into here and choose this nice little green over here. And I'm gonna go through all of these and kind of just do this, right? Um, I think, yeah, that's this is gonna take forever. Oh, why? Honestly, it's necessary though. So we're just gonna go into here, right? And just kind of like go through all of these, be as nice and like neat as possible. Boom, and just like that, look how clean that looks. 
honestly worth honest that was worth the little bit of time we spent on it we can move on so i think to move on though we're gonna do some little shadow work i'm not the best at shadows i'm honest with you i'm pretty like trash at it but like it's just it's the thought that counts right so i'm gonna go ahead choose a nice little black i'm gonna lower this brush opacity to about 30 percent and i'm gonna go over here and just basically say yo there'd be a shadow right here right nice dark one because it's pretty close nice little simple shadow right here for his tail if there's anything i can personally say to myself that i'm absolute garbage at it's shadows um so it's like you know it is what it is i'm giving it my all i'm trying for you guys and also at the same time it's a little bit of learning right so like boom look at that shadow right there would there be a shadow here would that make sense okay what about that just a little bit more added shadows you see that i think let's be honest it's not the best but it's good i think it's good enough to move on to get to the point uh which should be like doing more than just this but what's the thing that we're gonna do um i want to do that little 3d thing with the little logo here too though is it possible that i can actually find the razor ai file on google ai logo all right so i found it right so it works okay this is definitely the ai file or an or ai ai file for but if i just highlight it all press Control c and we throw this into after effects I was gonna quickly check if this is gonna work. So presets, let's go with materials. What would I do? I would do basically a black material on black, I guess. Like a nice, very simple black gloss, I like that. Now, if we were on this bezel, we should do like an inner, basically a deeper black. I think this will work. All right, I tossed it in here. Obviously it's not the best quality, which I'm blurring it. I'm not even gonna show you how bad it is. Like it's this bad, right? But I blurred it, <clears throat> right? Not that bad. So like maybe, Okay, we just use a gradient like this instead. Oh, okay. I'm making bad quality, good quality, because I'm a little bit just unaware of how to work uh, Element 3D the way I would like to, but literally just changing this one over here to this right here, that looks so clean. Like right there, tell me that does not look clean. Yeah, that looks way cleaner. I need some kind of something to happen somewhere, but I don't know what that is for now. But maybe I can just, I guess, try to like, throw on some glow on this snake first for whatever reason right now on another layer right i can go over here and just add in that nice little glow on this spot here so realistic i just need to figure out a way to add color like that's my biggest issue that's what i also was i knew i was gonna run into this issue but like this is why i added these things right here right this little lines right here if i wanted to do that how would i go about it necessarily would be just kind of like maybe like just doing triangles going this way and then they just increasingly get worse or bigger and bigger and bigger I think that's going to be how that works. Then I'll just go ahead and just cu cut off this like right here. Is it going to look cool? I have no idea. This is kind of like a little test about it though. Um, if it was skinnier, would it be cool though? That's my like thought right now, right? Now I can't say for certain, but if you think about that, oh my God, wait, <laughs> wait a second. So wait, look at that. <laughs> I didn't even freaking realize this, but look at the fact that it's called the Kraken X, right? And low key, this is an X. Don't you just love it when things just happen on accident and then you just like work with it and it makes it look really cool at the end of the day. So we're gonna do this, but make it skinnier though. Now I'm thinking to myself though, do I wanna make it like super heavy glow, like something like this, right? Where you can't really even tell that it's like coming from it. Or do I do it like firstly, right? A nice little half opacity and make it a little more small like this. There we go. Now it feels a little more 3D right there. Throw on a satin because we can a little bit of opacity. And then just like that, we make ourselves look really, really good with a nice little effect right there. Throw that on the same one down here. Okay. Now what I can then do is I'll make a new layer above them. And with a like 60% opacity brush, we'll just go into this, right? And then just do like little few little things right here. Maybe like right here. Linear dodge add. However, we also probably want to blur this a little bit too. There we go, right? Give it a little bit more of a little bit of movement in there. Maybe now we can go ahead and say above everything over here, right? At least on the headset first, we'll go to this over here and we'll give ourselves a nice little glow, right? We'll just say like over here. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is I don't know if it's correct, right? But since it's kind of like moving, I wanna make sure the glow kind of hits like this. I don't know if that makes the most sense, but after I do it like that, I wanna do it like one more time, but with like a nice lighter green and then use just basically normal but right on the edge, give it a nice little sort of like glowish tone first on the bottom. Then it kind of looks like the light is at least dispersing on the actual surface. Um, again, not the best with lighting, not the best with all this, but I think for the most part, that is kind of how it would work. All right, now, I don't know about you, but I think the snake is looking kind of right. I think that's actually pretty nice. Now, of course, you have to give the heads of the same treatment here. So I'm going to, of course, do that for us. I'll go over here. 
All right, I think we're in a pretty okay spot. It's gonna do the same thing over here, right? Just kind of like let that slide over that way, like this, and then of course a nice line right there. And then last but not least, add in that nice simple line, which basically makes the whole entire thing, right? Just like this and like this, and I think that's okay. All right, so for the most part, I think the one thing I wanna do for sure is change this font down here. I don't know why, it's just bugging me though. And then why not? Because it's a head set, I'll just say like a little bit of a gray tone here to hit it. I feel like would be kind of like very much of a razor kind of thing, right? And then of course, adding in of course that like, uh, like astro glass morphism thing, right? So if I still wanna do that, should I do that or is it even worth it? Let's just quickly see if it actually is. Accurate, clean and audio sound. I think that's, that's kind of nice. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I think right now is just do a nice little simple hits of green just to make a little bit of ambience, ambience light, just like so. I'll even go ahead and now add a nice little final color correction, right? And then why not, because I just wanna, I'm curious, okay? If I go to hue, change my green a little bit more to be like a little more vibrant and I'll say press okay. We get out of it and our image looks kind of like sharp and nice. Okay, that's it. That's all. I think that's going to be it. So right now for you guys, I'll throw the before and after for you guys, just so you guys see what the one that, uh, what was his name again? Nest Visuals created. So basically I had this really cool idea of wrapping the snake around the headset. And of course a little background, sort of like 3D logo in there as well. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. And of course like the little lines and stuff like that from inspiration we took from the other uh, little object advertisement we saw. And then of course a nice little simple layout. Overall, I think they did a pretty good job. And I think that's going to be it for this project right here. I don't know if there's gonna be, there's probably gonna be a little bit of a difference from like the file that you guys see in like the video that I stopped at, besides the one you guys saw like a little, 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 little with the thing up top before and after. But um, yeah, I think I, I'm in love with the idea. I think we did a pretty good job of combining both the ideas and my new ideas. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. And uh, hopefully guys, if you guys like this one, leave a like for it and let me know what I could have done better and things like that about lighting because I always want to learn too. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, so let's start off with the next project here, which is Spider-Man Far From Home poster, designed by, I believe his name is Slinksy, by the way. And honestly, this is an incredibly dope foundation. I looked at this, I was like, can I honestly make this better? And I think this is gonna be the video where I just basically do things I know for sure that I can't do and try to do them and learn them and try to like get better at manipulation because I'm not that great at it. So uh, why not give it more of a shot in these videos and also hopefully make you guys learn something too. But I really don't have that much to do or fix with this thing, but I, I, I think I'm gonna try at least to make it cool. And uh, yeah, let's just, let's just jump into it. All right, so first thing is first here. In my opinion, I think the first thing I noticed was that the actual, but the mechanical tentacles, right? Were like a little bit low quality, right? Given the fact that if I turn all this off for a second, they're already low quality on its own. However, I think the added fact that this like grunge material that's on it makes it look a little bit too like, eh, in my opinion, it looks pretty cool in that sense when you put on like the shadows and whatnot. But I do think what I wanna do, the first thing I wanna do is copy and paste this texture I found, right? Put it in here as well. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on like opacity or anything like that. I'm gonna go over here, blend mode, take this and just move this till I find something that I really wanna have, which is like right around here. And I think that's pretty good. Now, if we wanted to, I'll go ahead and just combine all these together for a second. And that way this, I'll just put it on like a nice little overlay. And I'll also do the same exact thing with a little blend if, right? And then just make it kind of like feel a little bit more like actually, you know, feel a little more quality, right, in that sense. But I'll go over here, and I see put a little bit of highlights and shadows into this here. I do think if we're gonna actually go with the lighting of Spider-Man here, which I think the Spider-Man lighting is actually pretty cool, in my opinion, but I do think the lighting itself needs a little bit of work, but I also know the fact for a fact that I don't know how to do that, but I know how to do at least a little something something. So what I'll do, as I'll, I'll firstly do actually, is fix the actual lighting to make it feel like these tentacles are actually in the same atmosphere. So if I go to like curve over here, right, and I click mask this curve onto the actual tentacles, hold alt, click on auto. We'll use light and darks. We'll do shadows and we'll choose a nice dark spot in the in the, in the the scene. Go to highlights, which is a nice light spot in the scene. And I'll move this up a little bit just like so. Right, you can see it kind of feels a little bit more like it's actually a part of that same scene, which is a pretty good look. Um, same thing with this. I think the camera, the, the, the Spider-Man guy is a little bit too like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm all for clarity and stuff like that, but I do feel like this is a little too much. Kind of just reset it a little bit. But what I'll do instead, I'll do the same exact thing, add the actual same little curves on, boom, press OK, press OK again, and just like that, that little kind of tweak right there makes it all feel like it's a part of the scene and we're looking pretty good, pretty dope, and I'm okay with this. Um, so I guess realistically what I wanna do as well, maybe I can take this right here, we'll combine this together, we'll actually make a new duplicate of it and then make it a nice little smart object, right? Toss it into the camera raw filter, 
and then for this i'm just gonna basically up the clarity and like texture like a lot that way it kind of feels a little more mechanical but yeah with just that alone there we go i feel like the actual tentacles are kind of like falling into a better spot in my opinion um and i like it okay so just really quickly where we just started from when this was a little bit too dark right you kind of see these little tentacles a little bit outside of its like the realm of like you know actually being a part of the canvas or a part of the actual scene it's looking a little bit better obviously when i add shadows i feel like it'll be a little bit even even better but i think right here this like these are like like rocks right these rocks are like okay they're a little weird of a color right so what i'll do really quickly is also make sure that you put on a little bit of clarity in here too and then just with that little tweak i feel like that makes it look and feel a little bit more better and this right here in the background for some reason is more purple than it is like like the the right color scheme so i'm gonna do the same exact thing lower this super super far down right that way it kind of feels correct and then curve over here we'll change this a little bit to more of an s curve and i feel like that makes it feel a little bit more like actually a part of the background itself um and i'm okay with that so cool now realistically how this how do we gonna make sure that this light that's actually hitting here is actually feeling like an actual light hitting spider-man here right because it feels a little bit it's like, it kind of like got rid of it a little bit but how do i actually fix that not entirely sure but i do think i maybe maybe put like a spotlight in let's try something really quick so spotlight let's go ahead and say like bigger and then smaller right that's kind of how that was spotlight would kind of work there like if it's like some kind of helicopter like looking down at them like that and we'll just take like a nice simple color from the canvas make it a little more lighter but of course keep it toward that white we'll go ahead and blur this off too just like that i think and i'll go ahead and say to myself i want to try to use this a little bit so with a little bit of blend if tweak right here i feel as if that looks kind of cool but i kind of feel like i lose the 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 tunnel of like the fact that it's like a spotlight coming down on him but i feel how would i actually fix this so i feel like i have to bend around him in a way right so would it have to be like the light doesn't hit like so much down here right it doesn't really hit that much over here maybe it doesn't hit anything over here at all and it just lands on him like this would that be like technically correct right i feel like this light is kind of like lost because i don't know what it's it's like it doesn't have an exact spot to where it's coming from right that's the issue right now i feel like for myself that i'm running into so maybe i like i don't know like do like this oh that kind of works well yeah i'm not i'm not opposed to that actually that's kind of working so if i'd like erase all the rest of the stuff on this side Right, and I kind of have that light over there. Maybe I even say like, yo, have another light like in the background over here. I guess that kind of looks kind of cool. Now, I know for a fact that I did like what he did when it comes to the exposure thing. So I take the exposure for a second. Um, exposure, that's curves. And go on my little uh, brush, I'll say like 65 or something percent or so, right? And then go over on this other side and then make sure this side is a little bit still a little bit lighter, right? Or a little bit darker, right? So the light I feel like would leak like this way, like that right because it's the the arm the forearms like right there it would be a little bit right here and be like not so much there right so it's like a super big spotlight granted this is a lot of light coming in this is not as much this is a little bit exaggerated than what i felt like i wanted lower it down quite a bit and we'll go over here and basically gave a nice little highlight to all of this because it'll be facing this for sure the light will be hitting right here then it might be kind of like hitting a little bit down here and then over here right i know i feel like i'm learning and it's kind of working but maybe it's not but i'll also go ahead and go back into it for a second and then do like a nice little glow right and we'll go over here and kind of give ourselves a nice little light now i feel like with this light i'm gonna have to blur this just a little bit just a little bit like this and then maybe even go ahead and go about it and say a little bit more on this like right here right because i feel like the light would like stop right here that means this part of it should be lit up right or light lit up yep i think that works because it's like pretty close to him too right so like i feel like that would make the most sense <laughs> this is so bad i'm trying so hard but i know i know i'm failing i know i'm failing but this is the thing is i'm learning i'm processing this and we're having a little bit of fun okay so let me just do the same as i think over here really quickly before i call it we're throwing shadows and lights all at the same time right we're gonna go with the opacity lower this down to like 30 or so but like right here Right? I feel like there'd be a shadow because he's right under Spider-Man. Same thing with this right here. But let's say to ourselves as well that there's like some fire going on. Let's go over here and go with like, uh, uh, what would you call it? Fire Ember? Now, yeah, what if we just had Fire Ember just like all around this? Makes it feel a little bit more like intense and stuff, right? Like there's stuff going on. And since the Ember's a little bit low quality, I'll just go back into it with a blur. 
And besides, besides, it's like fire, right? So I can just blur it off myself, just like so, just to make a little more better kind of like look. And then why not? Like, let's just say the ember is like super blazing hot. And we just go into this and be like, yo, click, click, a few clicks here, a few clicks there, a few clicks right here, here. And then we'll just say, yo, linear dodge add, right? Make it look a little more intense. Now, a big part of me as well is talking about the fact that if I were to kind of just click on this, where's this text at? Wherever you are at right here, you need to go to a different, you need to just, I need, we need to fix this. This is to be like a nice, like vertically tall font. So like a drama, I think it's a pretty good call actually. Then I'll say this exclusively and movies can just be like a nice, something like this, maybe like a nice little, into, uh, nice little just simple sans serif font. And exclusively in theaters, um, just like this. I feel like that would make a nice, better kind of idea, right? And I'll even go ahead and just duplicate this little fire real quick. I'll just put some a little bit further in the air. Maybe it feels too weird if I do that. I think X that, no, X that, X that, X that. I do think the fire though can get a little bit of a quick little tweak though, like something like a little less like that maybe, right? And I even might go into it and say to myself like, yo, what if it's like super, super heavily blurry, like a nice little iris blur and blurring this just about like six points, press okay real quick. But this is not going to be like entirely the, like the blur, right? I'm just going to quickly turn it off for a second and say like, yo, over here, gets a little blurry over here. Maybe like a little blurry on this one right here for whatever reason. Maybe like this is not super in focus because it's like moving, right? Like this. Brightness and contrast as well to kind of finish this off a little bit. And just because I like Ember enough, what if I was just like a little bit more, right? Just a little more for like the epicness of like, dude, this is really on fire, bro. You should like really move out of the way and like go save something, right? Like just a little more epicness of the fire, right? Maybe even like a little bit of smoke. Should I even add smoke? That's a little too much. I think that, I think we get the point. Honestly though, I feel like I might just stop here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of having fun with it. But you guys can tell me right now if I like made it look cooler or a little bit better or like a little bit, just a little more epic, right? Just gonna make, I want to make it feel like an actual, just like really dope epic scene. Um, but this is what he had before though. So you know what? I think that's it. I think I'm actually done. I'm not gonna really focus too much on it. I feel like I got a pretty good spot. And uh, how about now for you guys? I'll throw out the before and after the one that Slinks he just did, of course, in the beginning, and the one I just did, of course. Um, I feel like his original concept was a little bit too dark. I feel like everything wasn't feeling like it was actually inside a canvas. The Spider-Man render that he chose had this random light source that I wanted to kind of fix and make it sure that it kind of felt like it was a part of something actually a part of the scene. So I added a spotlight, things like that. So. I don't know, you guys let me know. I feel like I did a pretty dope job and I feel as if I did an accomplishment if I look at it now, the before and after. I'm a fan, like I feel like I did a, I feel like I did some justice to it. So with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. I do super, super love you guys. I do hate, I, <laughs> I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and all that good stuff. So don't forget to leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you guys are new. Subscribe if you wanna stay around. Comment all the like, you know, maybe like your favorite piece that I did and revamped or some tips to help me out. And that's uh, about also the people who also got revamped. So yeah, that's it. Set so some HQ out. You're not going to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later. Much love and enjoy your weekends. Enjoy. See ya.